So Liam had a dream for this big show, open air concert with a full orchestra. It, it really has a fantastic expression of what I feel is, you know, big music from really from a man with a big heart. It's incredibly strong. The melodies are very, very straightforward, actually very simple. As a person, he's very, he's great, huge empathy, and he understands human emotions. And this is why the audience identify with his music so much. Well, I think that Liam's music is really from the heart. Um, and, yeah, it, it's just really beautiful to sing. And every artist dreams dreams. And my dream was that someday I would stand on a stage with the perfect setting, with the perfect ambiance, design, orchestra, choir. I thought it would never happen. I think we have a very spectacular stage here. I think the, the dock is one of Dublin's really loveliest open spaces. It's a place that's really just coming into its own now. It was, of course, an industrial space converted now into chic shops, restaurants, and just a place where people like to come and be. This is by far the biggest and most spectacular that has been seen here. And I think really it's the jewel that this crown deserves. It sits in beautifully and I must say we're really proud of it, really proud. I was delighted that Alan Farkerson was asked to design the set because I know his previous works and I know that he, he knows the Irish soul and the Irish psyche in some sense. And for me, in the Celtic spiritual way, angels were always very important and also the labyrinth. And he has encompassed these really, really well in the set. All you have to do is to sit and look at the set and you immediately get this feeling that you've been protected or surrounded by angels' wings. When we decided to go ahead with this project, we also realized that we needed somebody who's going to be able to produce the arrangements that would be sensitive to size of this production. And so I was very honored that Nick Kingman accepted to become the arranger and the conductor actually as well for the show. What I like about Liam's music is two things. Firstly, melodically, it's incredibly strong. The melodies are very, very straightforward, actually very simple, but they are very memorable. And with the number of tunes that are written every day in this world, to actually write a simple, mostly diatonic, that, that, that is all the white notes on the piano, simple melody is incredibly hard to do. You have to go back to people like Irving Berlin and so on to get that kind of simplicity. The other thing I liked about his music was that the lyrics weren't love songs, or not in a traditional sense, but they were obviously incredibly sincere and sincerely written. And of course, the, the genesis of them was spiritual rather than anything else. And that was so unusual without in any way being cloying or sentimental. So it was, it was a very attractive, and it is a very attractive package. I've been working with Mark Cahill, my musical director, for a couple of years now. You know, personally, I'm an identical twin, okay, with my brother Tom. But it's like Mark is my musical twin because he's been able to express in his arrangements exactly the way I want the music to go. He's a very, very gracious guy to work with and is always open to suggestions. And I have to say, in all our time working together, we have never fallen out. I think he's, he's a great sense of humor as well, which I like. There's a sense of fun about him, and I think that comes out in the music as well. But certainly no task is too great for Mark. Do you want me to edit it now, so you're not trying no, to tell the no, no, don't worry. It? Just, well, I'll just tell the engineer. You can turn on the music yeah, when yeah. you want, it's fine. I'm going to do that. As you journey on, you are not alone. Liam, just sing along. S sing along with the track. Okay. And we'll punch you in. But sing it from the same place, yeah?
controlling something like this is a bit like conducting an orchestra, I often think. You know, and the first thing you have to do is you've got to learn the score. So you spend a long time listening to the music, and then you try and work out the constituent parts of it, and then you try and work out the best way to express them. And that's the way I go about it. And then you have your score in front of you on the night, and this is the baton. As you go. We have three very different singers in this project. Um, Liam, of course, was quite a tall man. Now, Joseph McManus, the boy soprano, is rather small. He, he's a boy. And literally in between them is Roshin, uh, this very elegant uh, soprano. So there are three completely different types of people. There are three completely different types of singers. And physically, there are three different types of people. Um, and again, to make it feel like it belongs to all of them, if you like, is the job. So that when they're on the stage, it looks as much as if it belongs to Joseph or to Roshin as it does to Liam. Tonight on this stage, I'm going to sing um, the Ave Maria, Journey's End, and also the beautiful The Lord's My Shepherd. And worldwide, The Lord's My Shepherd is known, but I think Liam's version is just so melodic, so beautiful, and his interpretation and the sensitivity um, of that music surrounding the lyrics is just beautiful. My favourite song of all the songs I'm singing uh, tonight um, is probably Voice of an Angel, because um, it's a really beautiful song. It's quite funny when people say I've got the voice of an angel um, because, I mean, in my spare time, I, I just like doing things that, uh, like, um, I'm quite a sporty person. I like to play uh, football with my friends and, and play in the woods. So to come from the studio, from some spending months in the studio putting all these tracks together to something like this, something as amazing as this huge stage and lighting rig and you know, big sound system, it's, it's amazing. It's a dream come true for me. It's a dream for me because I've come from, again, from the rock and pop music, you know, doing pubs and clubs for years, and here I am sitting on one of the big stages that, you know, I always wished I actually performed on. And uh, I'm playing piano with him tonight, and it's, it's, it's exactly what I've always wanted. So, you know, here we are. We're, we're on the dream. We're living the dream. Mm -hmm. 